kind of looking up, like, oh, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Pupu's a very expressive player, so it's like it's almost like in poker, where if somebody is extremely over-the-top expressive all the time, it becomes hard to read. Whereas if they yeah. were just like a normal person who had normal reactions, you'd, you'd be able to take a read better. Punko is, is the kind of guy who has theatrics. We've seen it before, I mean, if you recall, at EVO last year. Before one of his matches, he stood up and he pounded a Red Bull, the whole thing. And like threw, and off, his threw off his jacket. Yeah, and, threw, and took off his belt. Yup. So th that's, that's the kind of guy he is. I don't think he can read too much into what his face looks like. All right, so here we go. Dogra going with M. Bison. Nice air-to-air -air counter there from Punko. Ooh, just goes for this, the uh, slide. Yeah. So we're gonna try to back Funko up in the corner, just trying to trying to jump. No reason to jump at Seth just yet because Seth hasn't really played with a lot of tandem engines or anything like that. Well, I wonder if these guys have played each other in the past. My guess is they probably have. Funko plays a lot uh, in Japanese uh, online. Great positioning on that. Ooh. Oh, what a reaction from Punko. Not an option select at all. He just yeah. he saw it happen. And maybe he was expecting it, so it was a little easier to react to, but those are reactions. All right, off the wall. Ooh, and then he just kicks him. Just kicks him. The reason that worked is a very common mix-up after the Ultra 1 is to do a fireball and then teleport to the other side. And that way you have to block the other way. I think I think Gogoro was looking to block the other way. As for why the stand round hit, I don't know. <laughs> Right, good back dash there, otherwise he would have gotten hit by both hits of the scissor kick. Dogger, slow approach. He, again, he really wants to be pushing Kunko into the corner. That's where M. Bison has Ooh, a lot of strength. I actually really like that, how he didn't just cancel into a back dash off of that slide. He actually tried to hit him with a counter hit there. Oh, beefy. Now he's going to be caught in the corner against Kunko. Really not where you want to be. All right, mix up time. Yep. Oh, that's, you know, that was not reaction. That was, he knew. That's experience of a lot of people new to jumping in that situation and just having the right oh, follow-up. Interesting. Oh, that was a little tricky. I guess Buko has seen it before. Oh! Chip! Oh! I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a cycle crusher trying to get himself out of that situation. EX cycle crusher wasn't charged up enough, just came out with a standing fierce. Yeah, you're probably right. Winner's bracket action. And then patience from Dogger Right. No, wow. He's in the lead here, so I'm not sure if there's really any reason for him to try to go in too hard on Punko. Oh, then he blocks, looking for something from Punko. Oh, wow. There's that gamble set that we talked about. You try to uppercut in the middle. It's so hard to know what he's going to do. Ooh. Oh, great catch there. He was expecting that back dash. And here it comes with a big punish. Bison probably on the verge of a dizzy right now. Yeah. And he moves his opponent all the way into the corner where Punko gets a little bit more damaging stuff. Yep. He's going to be able to pop him after. Ah, ah, ah. It's not going to fight kill. Oh, wow. battle, dude. Interesting stuff. Punko is on the verge of taking this over Dogura. Again, winner's side, so not going to be elimination for Dogura if he does lose here. All right, Dogura getting in there with that throw. But see, that's the problem when you play against the Gamble set. You're so scared of wake up uppercuts or wake up teleports or wake up something. Oh wow, Kunko's gonna use the two meters for the EX Tannin engine. Yeah, that's a three bar combo, but look at all the damage it dealt. And stun too, it's something Dogger has to really start yeah. worrying about here. And if he can get him stunned off of an SPD, the follow up that's combo it. will do oh, so much damage. If wow. he had just done a just, um, jump around us, it would have been straight. And actually that would have been the, the set. But yeah. instead, Dogger has another chance. He really has Ooh. not been able to maintain corner pressure. And if you're Bison, you can't have corner pressure. Nice it's not going to work out Dogura. too well. He's got to make this happen. Dogura making a slow but steady comeback here. Now he has the life lead against Punko. But Punko gets a frame trap. That's not going to work because he can chase it down. And that's it. Going to catch him with the follow-up stop.